So, in the first step, we calculated deal assumptions, and we're in the step number two, where we will calculate, acquire, and target um, shares information and standalone pre tax income. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to start with the cell B11. I'm going to use F5, function 5, to fly there to the cell B11. And I will calculate acquirer shares issued in transaction. I have current share price of 750, diluted shares outstanding of 310 million, and um, earnings per share per forecast of $25. For that, I'm going to use my offer value again, which is not filled yet for the target, but we will get there. And as soon as we get there, the formula will flow and the value will flow into that cell as well. So let's create a formula regardless and trust the steps. Equals, I'm going to take my offer value from the cell C18. Uh, I'm going to multiply it by the percentage of stock, which is 50% in our case scenario, and I'm going to divide that by the current share price to get the number. Again, it's zero for now. It will change as soon as the offer value will be filled up. That's for acquirer. Let's go ahead and take care of the target calculation. Uh, Pre-deal share price is 25. Offer price per share is $40. This, uh, using these numbers, we can calculate percentage of offer premium, which is basically the premium or extra amount of money acquirer would pay for the target to make the deal happen. Because there can be other interested parties, uh, except for Google to purchase Motorola, and Google wants to win the deal and therefore they would offer some premium. Also, the uh, Motorola as a, a separate company might not be as interested in selling the company for um, the market value, right? They're doing well uh, in the moment. They, are, they might not be interested in any M&A transactions. So again, to interest the target company in the transaction, acquirer would offer a premium. To calculate the premium, I'm going to take my offer price per share, which is $40, divide by the pre-deal share price of Motorola, and minus one, and I get to 60% of offer premium. Uh, usually, it would be around 40% overall on the market, and in the US it's um, usually higher. So 60% can be easily a real amount of offer premium for the M&A transaction, especially if the market is hot and especially in the industry which is growing fast. So perfect, let's go ahead and calculate offer value right now. We also have shares outstanding for the target company, which is 315 million. And to calculate our uh, offer value, I'm just gonna take uh, the shares outstanding existing for the target and multiply it by the offer price per share. That will be my offer value, which is 12 billion. 600 million dollars and you can see that as soon as we filled up this cell for the offer value the cell b11 is filled as well remember the formula included offer value here and my acquired shares issued in transaction is 8 million 400 and also in the deals assumptions in the cell g16 we also used uh, offer value uh, for the acquired new bor borrowing calculation. And we know now that that number would be $6,300,000,000. Great job. Last but not least for that step is implied standalone net income and pre-tax income.
Let's go ahead and calculate that. So for implied standalone net income of acquirer, I'm just going to take my diluted shares outstanding and I'm going to multiply it by my earnings per share forecast and it will give me $7,750,000,000. And for standalone net income of the target, Motorola, uh, I'm going to use similar logic. I'm going to uh, take the number of shares outstanding and multiply it by EPS forecast. So it's going to be for Motorola $630 million. Wonderful. Now implied standalone pre-tax income. Uh, simple calculation. I'm going to take my net income I just calculated and I'm going to divide it by 1 minus my tax rate I have in the assumptions in the cell G13. I will anchor it with a shortcut F4, function 4. So when I fill the formula to the right for the target company, the tax rate cell will not change, will not flow to the right. Wonderful. Um, so I have implied standalone pre-tax income for Google. Shift right arrow, control plus R to fill the formula to the right. And you can see that the formula calculated beautifully pre-tax income for the target as well. Wonderful. We just completed step number two. And in the third step, we're going to uh, complete the pro forma net income for the company.